Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of pyelonephritis with formation of urinoma. A 35 years old female patient came with fever, burning maturation and backache. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the right kidney. It is quite enlarged in size with increased echogenicity. The medullary part is more echogenic with loss of corticomedullary differentiation also. You can see mild PC system collection. There is also some collection at the perirenal region. So this feature suggested as an acute renal parenchymal disease. Clinically, it was a case of pyelonephritis. Now let's look at the left kidney. The left kidney is grossly enlarged in size here. You can see the parenchyma is heterogeneously echogenic with complete loss of normal echotexture. You can see collection within the pelvic cell system. The collection is quite hazy due to inflammatory debris. On color Doppler, you can still see some vascularity within the parenchymal tissue. This is the main renal artery coming from the aorta supplying the kidney. Overall, I was looking for an emaciation within and fortunately, I got a breach in the continuity of the parenchyma with associated subcapsular collection. This is the urinoma formed due to the defect of parenchyma. This appearance may be well visualized if you do a CT in this patient. Here is the spectral Doppler I have collected from the renal artery supplying the left kidney. It suggests that this kidney is still functioning. Another picture of the renal arterial spectrum supplying the left kidney. Here is the picture of the left kidney with the urinoma due to the defect in the parenchyma. Again the subcapsular collection due to the defect within the parenchyma having communication with the PC system suggesting urinoma. We did a CT scan in this patient and the CT shows grossly enlarged left kidney with dilatation of the PC system and you can still see the urinoma here below the renal capsule having communication with the PC system. This is the axial image and you still can see this urinoma but it is well observed on the coronal section. So in summary, bilateral echogenic kidneys with loss of corticomedular differentiation is noted. The left kidney is grossly enlarged, having PC system dilatation with a hazy fluid extending up to the renal capsule through a large parenchymal defect, indicating urinoma. So overall, this is a case of bilateral pyelonephritis with formation of urinoma on the left side. Now the take-home message. In case of pyelonephritis, don't forget to look for the perianal space. If you check perianal space carefully, you may see some collection there. High frequency ultrasound is always helpful if you want to see a small amount of collection at the perianal space. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.